and Mika. Ah, feels nice to be back home. I'm Yasuke. I was away on a business trip for about six months. I was able to come back to Japan a day earlier than expected, but I wanted to surprise my wife, Mai. So I didn't tell her. She's gonna be so surprised. I quietly opened the door. Quiet, quiet. I snuck in quietly. First rock. That's when I heard someone yelling in the living room. I walked slowly towards the living room. First comes rock. John, Ken, rock. My? What the hell is she doing? Slowly, I opened the door. It was definitely my wife, but she was unbelievably buff. What the? She looks like a character from a manga or something. First comes Rock. John can rock. <sighs> huh? Uh, hey, you're home. Uh, hey. Uh. It was pretty awkward. I tried to surprise her, but she surprised me instead. I thought you were coming home tomorrow. Ah, yeah, I got in a day early. I see. My, what happened to you? Oh, this? It's a cosplay of this character I like. Gone from Hunter Hunter. The cosplay I get, but. Let me just say it how it is. You're ripped. Thanks. Thanks. I love when people compliment me about my muscles. Wait, you were never into working out. What? What happened to you? When you went away, I had a lot of free time, so I started going to the gym. Then I got really into it. Yeah, but damn. And I also started reading a lot of manga. That's how I got into cosplay. I see. Uh, here. I got something for you. Ah, uh, thanks! Hey, you hungry? Let me prepare something for you. Ah, uh, thanks. It was still pretty awkward, but I'm starting to process the situation. She started cooking dinner in her costume. <laughs> this is so surreal. I can't believe my wife is so ripped! Almost sounds like a title to a new manga. But this wasn't fiction. This was really happening. Sorry, I wasn't expecting you, so I could only get like 80 grams of protein in there. Ah, uh, no worries. What a weird way to apologize. Anyways, you surprised me. Oh, heh. right back at you. <laughs> High protein diet, buff wife, and that hair. It's pretty much stabbing the ceiling. It's way too much to process all at once. After eating dinner and taking a shower, I fell asleep in the living room. I was exhausted. Hmm. Huh? I woke up for a second. I found myself being carried to my room by my wife. What the? Mai held me in her manly arms as I fell back asleep. The next day, I went into the living room. Whoa! Morning! Good morning. Mine no longer had the costume on, but still, it was pretty new to me, seeing her like this. Breakfast is on the table! Thanks. Four eggs? I don't need that much protein. Damn. Uh, hey, where's the jam? On in the top cabinet. Okay. What? Why are you doing a one-armed handstand? Huh? Oh, I do this all the time. Oh, uh, no you didn't. Mm. Ugh, it's stuck. Won't open. What's wrong? Ah, the lid seems to be stuck. Let me see. It's pretty hard. <sighs> there. Thanks. <laughs> You're so weak. You should work out. Ugh, but she's right. I was kind of embarrassed, but it was the weekend, so I decided to go shopping with her. Yay, let's go! Can we stop by the bookstore? There's some new mangas that I want. Sure, I was away for so long. It must have been tough on you, too. You can get anything you want today. What? 
Really? Sure. Yay, thank you! Uh, it felt like I got hit by a small car or something. When we got to the bookstore, my went full out. This one. Oh, and this one too. That's a lot of books. But sure. After we left the store, I tried to hold the bags for her. But I gave up after three steps. Ah, so heavy. Hold on. Let me catch my breath. What, really? Here, I got them. <sighs> <sighs> what? This is nothing. You're so weak. Be a man. You seriously can't carry this? Ah, uh, her words really got to me. I'm the one who bought you those books! Ugh. I just ended up embarrassing myself even more. Sorry, I was just kidding. No, I'm sorry too. Being overpowered by my wife like this was just so new to me. I, I, I didn't know what to do. I shouldn't be acting like this towards her. Maya ended up carrying everything. All I could do was follow her from behind. <sighs> I'm so useless. It just didn't feel right at all. As soon as I got home, I crawled into my bed. Maya's probably reading those comics I got her. I was about to fall asleep when... I heard my screaming. My? My! What's wrong? I ran down to the living room. She was sitting on the floor. My! You okay? Bug! A bug! A bug? I looked up. It was a cockroach. Oh, it's just a cockroach. Bam! There we go. I was so terrified. Thank you. Seeing her like this made me feel better. Whew. I guess she's still scared of bugs. That's cute. I wanted to tease her. Oh my, you're still scared of bugs, even with all those muscles? You can talk bad about me all you want. Huh? But don't talk bad about my muscles like that. Wait, what? Don't talk to me! Hey, my, wait! I guess I shouldn't talk bad about her muscles. I ended up making her really angry. My, I'm sorry. Please come out. I didn't say anything. What, what am I supposed to do? Now that I think about it, I don't think I've been very supportive of her. I was just so confused and... It actually looks pretty fun. Getting buff and doing cosplay? Then I got an idea. That manga she was talking about. I I've read it too before. Maybe I can play another character and apologize to her. I wrote her a note saying, Come out two hours later wearing that cosplay. And slid it under the door. Alright then. Operation, apologize to your wife! I went out to get a few things. Two hours later... Hey, Goon! Come out now! It's time! Uh, stop! What do you want? What? Looks like she understood right away. I dressed up like Genthru, one of the bad guys from her favorite manga, Hunter Hunter. I'm sorry. Stop! You win! You win! She knew exactly what to do next. First comes Rock. John Ken Rock! <laughs> I'm sorry. Us! <laughs> what on earth are you doing? I don't know. I just thought it was the best way to apologize. That must have taken you hours to prepare. You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. By the way, that's not exactly how it happens in the manga. Oh, really? <sighs> sorry. It's fine. <laughs> Things went back to normal after that. Mai seemed to really enjoy this though. She was in a good mood for the rest of the day. Making compromises is important. So what if my wife loves to work out and do cosplay? A year later, I got into working out and cosplay, just like her. Who would have thought? Check out this pose! Nice! Look at those guns! Yes! My name is Kaoru. I go to a high school for super elites. I had a promising future. One day, on my way to cram school... Huh? What's that? <sighs> wow. I didn't know such obvious beggars existed in this time and age. I feel bad, but... I guess I better get to cram school. Everyone, including myself, ignored the little girl. I'm sure that there was a part of us that felt bad for the girl, but at the same time, 
people also tend to avoid getting caught up in any kind of trouble. It isn't anything unusual for someone like me to just walk by her without lending a helping hand. What's up? Oh man, that uniform. That's Geki High School, infamous for delinquents. How unlucky for that little girl to be harassed by a delinquent from that school. Huh? Oh, is that you, Karu? Long time no see, man. Yikes! Oh crap! That's Shuya from middle school! Shuya is one of the most well-known delinquents in our city. He was known to settle things with his hands. If there was anything he didn't like, it didn't matter if the other person was older than him, or even they were experienced fighters. Just my luck to run into him. Hey, go grab me some food with this. Huh? What? Uh, I have an appointment, Shuya. What? Can't hear ya. Go now, keep the change. Uh, okay. If I push my luck, he's gonna beat the crap out of me! I ran to the convenience store and bought some food and delivered it to Shuya. Thanks. But Red Bull and vegetarian noodles? What a bad combination. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. This is what I usually eat for dinner. Whatever, it'll do. Here, eat this. Oh, you brought some bread too? So, what you doing here? This some sort of game you're playing? Tell me, huh? Say something! Take it easy, man. She's still a little girl. Yeah, so what? That doesn't make a difference. Oh, see? She's crying now. Shut up! Stop crying! Shuya, maybe this girl is mute. Huh? What the hell is that? The way she seems scared. Maybe she had a traumatizing experience, and she lost her words. What? Hey you, what kind of trauma do you have? She can't speak, man. Well, from the look of things, it seems like she's being neglected by her parents. Maybe she's out here begging because she isn't being fed. Kaoru. You're pretty smart. You a detective or something? A detective, eh? Hmm. But if so, that would be quite unforgivable. Alright then. Let's go see this kid's parents. Hey you! You can show us the way, right? Alright. Let's go, Karu. You're coming too. Huh? Me too? Shaw! What, you're gonna let this slide? Uh... Cram school... So, the situation evolved like that. And soon enough, we were heading to the little girl's house together. Oh man, we're really here. By the look of this apartment building, I'm not surprised that this girl is having family issues. Alright, let's get right to it. Ding dong! Yikes! We don't even have a plan! Stop pushing it so many times! What do you want? Uh, well... Your daughter... Huh? Damn you, Minami for causing trouble. So, your name is Minami, eh? And you're Minami's mom, right? Go get a dad, too. I don't have a husband. He ran off with some other random girl, and Minami was that guy's daughter, so technically she's not my child. It's not my duty to raise a brat that's not my blood. Besides, she's surviving fine getting food from strangers, even if I kick her out of the house in the morning. That's not the point. You're her guardian, right? You got a problem with that? Jeez! I can't believe that this kind of person actually exists! Why is it that dumb people like these are always the ones with the most children? Hey, Four Eyes, I said, do you have a problem? Huh? Uh, me? Yikes! Uh, I'm sorry. Don't apologize to this woman. Let me ask you this, woman. You feel responsible for Minami as a mother or not? Not at all. Alright. I get it. I give her a place to sleep, that's enough. I mean, first of all... Ow! Huh? <gasps> hey, what are you doing? Are you shooting rubber bands at her? Yeah, she's pissing me off. But I can't hit a girl, so I'm attacking her with these. That's a gentleman's answer! Knock it off! Why am I the one being attacked? I'm a human being too! I deserve to live my life the way I want to. Yeah? Well, Minami is a human being too! Forget your blood, you're her only mother! Stop making excuses and leaving her to fend for herself! <gasps> this feeling... Why does my heart ache? And people are gathering around because we're causing a scene!
Then Shuya spoke to the elderly ladies who gathered. And you old ladies! Did you know about this family? Well, it's not like we didn't know, but... You know. I mean, it was kind of what everyone talked about around here. But, well, you know. So you did know. Did you call Child Protective Services? Well, we were concerned that Minami was wandering around outside all the time, but we didn't want to get caught up in other people's business and caught in the crossfire, if you know what I mean. You all only thinking about yourselves, huh? You guys just stand by and pretend like nothing's happening while a girl is being neglectory? Neglected. <laughs> yeah, that! Anyways, you guys are all just as guilty as this mob! Just as guilty? How could you say such a thing? Look at you! You were attacking that lady as well! That's a crime as well! Then Shuya said something unpredictable. Yeah, if you say so! Why don't you just call the cops? Or you just all talk again? You brat! Fine, we'll call them right now! You better not run! He provoked them to call the cops on him! Oh no, Shuya! They're really calling! Everything will be okay. After a while, the cops arrived at the scene. Hey, why me too? I'm the victim here! They took Minami's mother as well for questioning. Oh, Shuya! Oh, you were waiting for me? Man, that took long. How's Minami? It seems like she's at the daycare in the police station for now. But you really pushed your luck this time! You could have been arrested! Why did you provoke those ladies to call the cops like that? Who cares? There were more important things, like Minami's well-being, right? And things played out fine. The cops and child services are finally looking into Minami's case. Wait, was that your plan? No, not at all. I was just pissed at those old ladies. Oh, okay. How reckless. But you know, all those adults were just thinking about themselves and didn't take any action to do the right thing. I didn't want to become one of them, that's for sure. Shuya's words were a slap in the face. When I first saw Minami, I made up excuses within myself and didn't take action. But I was just being a coward. Shuya may be reckless, but he's living his truth. I'm not half the man he is. Oh yeah, sorry for making you skip cram school, by the way. It's all good. I learned something important that they don't teach at my cram school. Uh, if you say so. I'm sure now that Shuya's bad reputation was just a result of him trying to do the right thing, like in this case. And Shuya was right about Minami. Child Services did a thorough investigation and placed Minami in a children's home. As for the mother... I just wasn't confident that I could raise her properly. So I convinced myself that she wasn't my child because she was her father's child and neglected her. I have no right to be with Minami. I'm sorry. Shuya's words must have reached her. She made the decision herself to let Minami go. She wasn't criminally charged because of her extenuating circumstances. Currently, she has a steady job and is covering her part of the expenses. Her neighbors still give her dirty looks, but she's trying her best to do what's right for Minami. Hey, Minami! What's up? You look good. <coughs> Sorry I pulled you away from your mom. You hate me? Oh, you're talking! <laughs> Thanks. Oh crap, Karu! I made her cry again! I think those are happy tears. I'm Hayate. I'm in the 11th grade. It was summer and life was pretty boring. But one day, everyone in class seemed really excited about something. Did you hear? There's a new girl coming! Really? Sweet! We need more girls in this school! Oh, looks like a new student was coming. Alright everyone, settle down. We have a new student joining us today. Woo, about time! We all went quiet when we saw her. Not because she was super pretty, but... Is that a prosthetic leg? Uh, hey everyone. Hi. I'm Sakura. I just moved here from Mika High. Yes, I have a prosthetic leg, but I'm not an alchemist, so don't ask me, okay? <laughs> She's pretty and funny? Whoa!
She's great. I can't wait to be her friend. <sighs> Everyone fell in love with her right away. The entire school was talking about her. A week later... Sakura, someone asked you out again? Isn't that like the tenth time this week? Wow. Kids here aren't shy about expressing their feelings. It's nice. What the hell is her problem? Stupid new girl. You're not getting away with this. But you said no to everyone, right? You aren't looking for a boyfriend? Maybe later, but not now. I just don't have the time right now. <laughs> Ouch! You all right? Ouch! I tripped! Huh? Not you. I was talking to Sakura. This is Ririna. She was a troubled girl. She does this kind of stuff all the time. Some of the boys like her, but all the girls hated her. You didn't trip. You ran into her on purpose. Hayate? What? No, Hayate. I'm so clumsy. It wasn't on purpose. I saw you. You kicked her on purpose. Stop the act. Apologize to her. What? I got hurt too. Hayate, I'm fine. But... Mirina, are you okay? I'm sorry, I should have been careful too. Oh, Sakura, it's fine. Just be careful next time, okay? I mean, I wouldn't want to end up with a prosthetic leg like you. <gasps> Did she really just say that? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. Th that just slipped out. Sorry, Sakura. Rarina hated it when other girls got more attention than her. And things just escalated from there. A week later... This clock. Always waiting for the bell to ring. Sorry I'm late! You're late, Sakura. That's a first. Take your seat. Good morning, Sakura. Wait, your leg. It looks different. Oh, um, I felt like wearing a different one today. <laughs> Looks good. <sighs> Wait, is that... Is she... Uh, why do I have to get the textbooks? Stop complaining, kid. <laughs> is that... I saw you walking by yourself. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Just got some stuff to do. Could you leave me alone for a second? What? No can do. I've always wanted to talk to you. What's up with that leg anyways? What do you mean? You put on a different one today. You want more attention, right? Is that it? You just love getting attention, don't you? No, that's not it at all. But you're so pretty, Sakura. Here, let me... Take that! What the? Stop! Oh no. It's your fault, getting all the attention. You're the new girl. Act like it. Verena, what have you done? Uh-oh. Oh well, it's just Hayate. No one else saw me. No big deal. Don't even think about telling on me. I'll just tell them that you framed me. All the boys will back me up. You know how it goes. <laughs> See ya. You little... You okay, Sakura? I'm... fine. This is for track and field, right? You knew? Yeah, I, I used to run track and field too. I see. Morning practice ran late today, so I didn't have time to change. I came here to switch to my normal one, but... Lenina followed me and... I see. But why didn't you tell anyone about this? The kids at my last school, they were really mean to me. They said it was pointless and I don't know what really got to me. I really love track and field, so maybe I should just give up. No! Hayate? <sighs> I got destroyed in the district finals a few years ago, so I know how this feels. But Sakura, you can do this. Don't give up. You should be proud. We all got your back. Sakura, let's strike back. We're gonna get Rarina for this. What? A few days later... 
I don't think you guys realize that summer vacation is over. You should straighten up and... <sighs> the principal talks forever. So boring, so sleepy. Arena, here! Sit on me! Really? Thank you! This is it for you, Arena. Now let's give out some awards! Sakura went up on stage. Everyone started talking. Sakura-san! She won the 100 meter and 200 meter dash in the summer tournament this year. She'll be going to nationals in two weeks. Sakura's good at sports too! I'm rooting for you, Sakura! I'm her coach, Ogawara. Sakura is a great sprinter to maximize her potential. Sorry, no time. Maybe next time. Good luck with your tournament. Would you like to say a few words before we wrap this up? Sakura grabbed the mic. Everyone was listening. I decided to use this to our advantage. The thing is, I can't run anymore. The other day, my prosthetic leg got damaged. You told the world about what she did. Everyone started talking. Marina was shaking. She never saw it coming. Who? Who would do such a thing? Marina! I saw her do it! What? No, stop lying! You! No! I didn't break it! He's lying! Ray? Who said anything about breaking it? How did you know? Because you broke it yourself! What? No way! That thing is made from special carbon fiber! You broke it? That's gonna cost you $15,000! $15,000?! She was freaking out. She started screaming! Shut up! Why don't you just quit? Why do you do track and field with a prosthetic leg anyways? What's the point? Just quit! Shut the hell up! How dare you talk to Sakura like that! She inspired me to start running again! She's a fantastic spinner! She inspires so many people! You're never getting in her way again! Hayate! You! <laughs> Irina tried to say something back. But she realized that she was finished. She didn't say anything after that. After, the teachers came in and took her away. We won! Later. Did you hear about Rarita? She has to quit school and get a job. Yeah, she has to pay Sakura $15,000, right? Rarita started getting involved in shady schemes after that to get more money, but the school found out and expelled her. She was up to her neck in debt. Basically, her life was ruined. 11.31? Not bad. <sighs> nah, I used to be much faster. I guess I'll just have to practice more. Don't worry, I'm a fantastic coach. You've got potential, kid. Keep it up! <laughs> I started running again. Today, I practice with Sakura and Coach Ogawara. My goal is to win states and go to nationals someday. Hayate, thanks for everything. Huh? The thing is, I was thinking about quitting for a while before the thing with Lilina happened, but you said all those nice things to me and it really helped me out, so thank you. Oh, right. <laughs> right back at you. You inspired me to start running again. <laughs> Glad to hear. Break is over. Let's go, Hayate. Yeah. A few days later, I'm gonna ask her out. I'm Naoki. I attend Shingeki High. I'm just a normal teenager. <laughs> hey, you dropped this. Uh, sorry! <sighs> I'm home. Naoki, I've been waiting for you. What's... what's all this? Oh, don't worry about that. Here, let me cut your hair. This is my older brother. He was going to school to become a hairstylist. He was an outgoing guy, the complete opposite of me. No, a hard pass. What? I thought we were family. Oh, come on. I like my long hair. It makes me feel safe. I need this to pass my class. Not my problem. 
Later. Wait! You sure you want to go on like this? Huh? You only get one shot at being a teenager. I can tell. All the girls avoid you at school, don't they? I don't blame them. Look at you! Shut up! I don't care about that. I'm not like you. Oh, is that so? Hmm. Then how about this? <coughs> is that... Is that a limited series Nezuko doll? How did you get that? <laughs> I got connections. If you want this, you'll do as I say. <coughs> Damn. Please cut my hair. And so, in exchange for the limited series Nezuko doll, I let him cut my hair. All right, uh... Uh-oh. Wait. Hold on. You sure you know what you're doing? I want to go home. You're always saying that. Hey, who is that guy? He looks kind of cute. <sighs> that asshole. He did all kinds of things to me. Let's uh, trim your eyebrows, too. Let's put on some wax. Oh, and a facial, too. <sighs> I hated attention. That's just the way I was. But all because of this haircut that my brother gave me, everything started to change around me. Hey, Naoki. You got a girlfriend? Uh, no. Oh, well, um... Huh? <laughs> you were so creeped up by me just a week ago. I guess it's all about how you look. I was kind of happy about this, but at the same time, it just reminded me that all people cared about was looks. Kind of made me feel even more lonely. They don't care about who I am on the inside. Then, one day... Are you Naoki? Come with me. Huh? Uh, okay. Her name was Yuki. She was an infamous delinquent in our school. What did I do? I was terrified. But I had no choice. I followed her up to the roof. Sorry to call you out like this. I wanted to ask you something. Wait, she gonna ask me out? You're Daiki's brother, right? Huh? She was right, but I had no idea where she knew him. I just stood there looking confused. You really look like him. <laughs> she just kept talking to herself, all excited. Uh, uh, how do you know my brother? That's not important. We crossed paths a few years ago. I owe him. I thought I should return the favor. You know what I mean? What did you do to her, Daiki? Is she gonna beat me up now? Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you, kid. But damn, look at your face. Huh? Your brother is so handsome. What happened to you? Stop comparing me to him. I thought you didn't care about that kind of stuff. She kept going on and on like this. I... I hate people like you. Huh? You... You don't care about other people's feelings. I hate people like that. What? Chill, kid. I was just messing around. We just met. We're not even friends. She was just like my brother. She really pissed me off for some reason. Relax, kid. Shit, are you always this angry? Damn. Why do you have to act so tough all the time? What? What, what the, the hell? hell? We were off to a bad start. But she kept talking to me. I got to school before you. <laughs> Ugh. Heh. <laughs> Crap. What the? Shut up. She was so annoying. She tried to make everything a competition, and she had a way to get to me. So I always ended up being competitive with her. Then one day... Huh? Daiki? My brother came to see me at school. He looked, uh... different. Yo! What are you doing? Don't you have school? I got this test coming up! Yeah? It's a bond model, and... I'm having trouble with it. <laughs> if I fail... I'll be held back. Weeks are too expensive, and I've ruined all my other ones, so... You're all I've got left, Naoki. Please, let me practice on you. Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling about this. Let me... <laughs> let me bleach your hair blonde! No! All those ruined wigs at the house? Now it makes sense. Blonde! Hell no! I'm getting enough attention as it is! Huh? Yuki! Run! Huh? Let me... <laughs> let me bleach your hair! Let me bleach your hair! Let me bleach your hair! <laughs> let me bleach your hair! Let me bleach your hair! 
Wait, Daiki? He's got his test and he just lost his mind. Run! What? He's chasing you, right? Get away from me! If I'm going down, I'm taking you down with me! What? Get away from me! Hey, girl. <laughs> Let me bleach your hair, too. Ah! Crap! We're gonna end up just like his wigs. This way, Yuki. <sighs> what are we gonna do? Do something about your brother. Give me your phone. What? Your phone. Are you asking me for my phone number now? No. Your friends. You got a lot of friends, right? Call them up. Wait. Are you gonna... After school. Now I can pass my test. I got this. This is nice, kid. Thanks. What happened to my hair? Oh well, looks pretty cool, I guess. I thought you wanted my friends to beat up your brother, but now I see. The circles you run in. A lot of them have blonde hair. And most of them love attention, so it was a win-win. Looks like he messed up some of them, though. Oh well, you win some, you lose some, right? I got Yuki to call her friends and get people who wanted free haircuts so that my brother could practice on them. We got a lot of people. More than I expected. I never liked her type, but... She saved my ass this time. I was grateful. <laughs> Yuki. Huh? Sorry about all this. <sighs> Thanks. No prob. Later. After that incident, I started spending more time with Yuki. I just felt like I could be myself around her. Yo, Naoki! Ugh, Daiki. Yuki, hey! Thanks the other day. No problem. You used to dye my hair for free. It's the least I can do. So that's what you were talking about. Uh, yeah. What did you think I was talking about? Uh, uh, nothing. I didn't know you guys were such good friends. Huh? No, it, it's not like that. Oh, so you're dating? What? what? You guys are really cute together. Shut, Shut up! up. <laughs> you sure you're not dating? Positive. Positive! I'm home. Hey, Cody. You don't have to come home, you know. We don't need any ugly girls in this house. My name is Cody. I entered high school recently. At about the same time, my father got remarried, and I have a new mother and sister now. But things aren't going so well for me. My stepsister's name is Misaki. She's the same age as me, but she goes to a famous private school. She's very pretty, smart, and athletic. A born natural. Compared to her, my looks are nothing to be proud of, and my grades are average. Honestly, I'm so jealous of Misaki. Oh, I hate being jealous. Say something, why don't you? Do they not teach ugly people how to even talk these days? You're such an embarrassment. I feel bad for Misaki that she has to have a sister like you. My new mother just adds fuel to my insecurities. She was such a mean person and finds any excuse to mistreat me. Well, I admit that I'm ugly, but does she really have to be so mean about it? A few hours later. Huh? Hey, Mom! Why does Cody get so little to eat? Um, well... Don't worry about it. She says she's on a diet. Yeah, don't worry about her. Just eat up. <sighs> my father has totally changed since he married my stepmother. He probably doesn't care about me anymore. I used to love smiling and eating with him. I'm done! Hey, clean up your dishes! What is going on in my life? Is it really my fault for being ugly like she says? But I'm sure Dad still cares about me. I hope he does. Huh? Oh, I must have fallen asleep. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Hey, Dad. Good night. Get out of this house, Kori. Huh? What did you say? It was so sudden and I just blanked out. I forgot to go to the bathroom and just ran back into my room. I thought that dad was my only ally in this house. Maybe I was a nuisance to him all along too. Is he sick of me because I'm so ugly and so incapable? No, I don't want to believe it. 
Dad would never say such a thing. See you later! Have fun. Be safe. I'll be going too. <sighs> oh, Kauri! Yota. Morning. You look gloomy. What's wrong? I'm fine. Hmm. Hey, Kauri. Wanna hang out? Huh? What about school? Forget school for one day. Here. Thanks. Did something happen? Why do you ask? I've known you forever, Kauri, I can tell. It's not like you're great at hiding it either. <sighs> it makes me sad seeing you like that. Huh? So if there's anything I can do for you, I want you to let me help you. Why don't you tell me about it? Yota... I see. Must have been hard for you. Yeah... I hate being at home. I just don't feel like I belong there. I just want to disappear. Kari, don't say that. Yuta? There's something I want to tell you, Kari. I... I... A few days later... I'm home. Hey, you come home late recently. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just hanging out with friends. I bet you're doing inappropriate things with that Yota kid. How disgusting! Don't you think about how your gross actions affect Misaki? My bad. Ugh. My attitude must have made her angrier. She started attacking me even worse than before. But her bullying didn't affect me as much anymore. I got a part-time job so I could leave the house and live on my own as soon as I graduated high school. Two long years passed, and it was finally graduation day. I'm home! Finally! High school is over! I can finally get out of this house! Here we go. Whoa! Ah! Misaki! What are you doing here? You too, Cody? What's with the bag? I'm out of high school now, so I was thinking of getting the hell out of here. You too, Cody? I was going to move out too. Huh? What was that? Oh crap! Is that true? What you just said? Did you say that you were moving out? Cody can leave, but Misaki? Are you serious? Did this girl influence you? Don't try to put this on me. No! It's not Cody's fault! Why would you say such a thing? You're supposed to marry a doctor or lawyer! Then have a bunch of kids and look after me and your father, right? Oh. Yeah, we went through all this trouble to take such good care of you! I don't remember promising such a thing! I get it now. This is when I finally realized... Misaki, she was the same as me! I remember seeing an exhausted look on Misaki's face in the past, and she looked relieved when I would come home. After realizing this, I felt a little bad that I'd been keeping my distance from her all this time. I'm out of here too. Thank you for everything. Get the hell out of here, you plague! I'm leaving too! No, not you, Misaki, stay! I don't want to be a grown-up like you, Mom! <gasps> You've never tried to get to know Kaori and just made fun of her instead. I'm embarrassed to call you my mother. <gasps> you too, Dad. You never asked how Misaki felt or what she wanted to do. You just expected her to take care of you? That's disgusting. Both of you. <gasps> Wait, don't go! Hey, Kaori. I've already found a place to stay. Wanna live together? Really? Wow, you're so prepared, Misaki! <laughs> yep, but sorry, I've already found a place too. Oh, okay then. Are you going to that guy Yota's house? I've noticed that you've become so much prettier since you started hanging out with him. No, he's not like that. But he is the one who gave me this courage and self-confidence. Huh? Will I see you again? Of course. Next time we meet, we'll both be happy. Promise me. And so, we went our separate ways. It manifested in a different way for her, but Misaki was also a victim of my parents being judgmental based on physical appearances. She also left the house because she wanted to live her life on her own terms. A few years later... Thank you for the food! Oh, this actress, is she? 
She reminded me of an old friend who's now flying all over the world. The friend who saved me when I was in my darkest hours. I... I... Um, I'm a girl inside. Ever since I was a child. What? Uh, I never told this to anyone, but I wanted you to know because... You're one of my oldest childhood friends, Kari. I have a dream to become a world-class makeup artist and make people pretty. So, let me practice on you, Kari. Let's make you so pretty that even your parents can't ignore you. Let's both live confidently in our own skin. After that, Yota helped me with my makeup and skincare every day. I remember that my confidence grew every day. If Yota hadn't built up the courage to talk to me that day, I don't know what would have happened to me. Yota, I saw the commercial! That actress was so pretty! Duh, but it's all thanks to you for letting me practice. <laughs> I'm coming back home in a little bit. Let's go have some drinks then. Yeah! I'll be checking to make sure that you're caring for your skin every day. <laughs> what a great friend. I'm feeling pretty nostalgic. Maybe I'll give Misaki a call later too. I'm living a happy and carefree life away from my toxic parents and feeling less self-conscious. It was around noon when I got the call. I was just about to get to work. It was from my son's school. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Ichi. He got rushed to the emergency room? He was playing sports and he got tackled pretty hard. I'm so sorry. Which hospital? I'll be there right away! I told my boss about what happened and jumped into a cab. My wife was on vacation with her old friends. I gave her a call. Hey, Aoi! Listen! Ichi got rushed to the emergency room! He's unconscious! What? No! Can you come to the hospital? You're not that far away, are you? Uh, well, I'm not sure. Might not make it back by today. Huh? What? Why? Hold on. I gotta go. I'll call you back. Wait, what the heck? Is she serious? I felt like something was off, but all I could think about was Ichi. Ichi, are you okay? <gasps> are you his father? Don't worry, he's gonna be okay. He's stable for now. He's just sleeping, don't worry. But we want to keep him here for the night, just in case. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Then a mother and her son walked in. The kid was about Ichi's age. I'm so sorry about everything. Looks like he's the one that ran into Ichi. They were playing sports and it wasn't on purpose. I told her it was okay. So, um, how is Ichi? He's just sleeping now. He'll be fine. Thank you for coming to see him. Oh, thank God. Is your wife around? I'd like to apologize to her too. Oh, uh, she's on vacation today. Not sure why, but she can't make it back, but... I'm sorry. Don't worry, son. You alright too? Yes! Your son got hurt too, right? Is your husband here? Uh, he's actually away on his trip as well. He said he'll be able to come back tomorrow. What a strange coincidence. Yeah, <laughs> May I stay here until Ichi wakes up? Why don't you come with me, little boy? Okay. Your husband. Does she travel a lot? Not sure. I think he just wants to get away from me. He's always out, barely home. And when he is home, he invites his friends over and leaves me alone with them. I don't think he wants to be with me. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be telling you all this. Oh no, it's okay. Actually, my wife has been doing the same thing to me. Huh? Yeah, I don't really know why, but... <laughs> we have a lot in common. I'm gonna try him again. <laughs> oh, is that your husband? Yeah. You guys look great together. We took this picture right after we got married. Things were really good back then, but... don't know what went wrong. <gasps> oh, Ichi! Ichi, are you up? Oh, thank God! I'm gonna call the doctor! Stay still! He was still feeling dizzy. But slowly, he pointed to the other kid's mother and said something. Ichi isn't waking up. Please try calling his name. Okay, 
Ichi, I'm coming. Ichi, Ichi. Mr. Okamoto, no, I can't. Oh no, am I interrupting something? Unbelievable, cheating on me at the hospital. You awful man, I'm gonna get proof. What the, what is this? Look who's talking, Aoi. What's going on? It was my idea. We framed you. You! Uh, who are you? Have we met? Stop acting. I know you know her. You're having an affair with her husband. What? Affair? What are you saying? You were just at the station with him. Looks like you guys are really close. I waited just in case you showed up. Couldn't believe how easy it was to get this picture. No, how? Both of your kids got injured while playing sports. What are the odds, huh? But there was no way for us to know about you two. So you decided to come anyways, right? But if you walked in at the same time, it'll be suspicious, so you came first. Her husband is showing up soon, right? What? I don't know what you're talking about. She started typing on her phone behind her back, probably texting the guy. But it was too late. The door opened right after, and he came in. I'm terribly sorry for what happened. Are you his mother? I'm so sorry for all of this. Stop, you're too early. You guys are terrible actors. Actors? Uh, what are you saying? Now that everyone was here, we showed them the picture. Then... Ah, you're the lady from the station. She injured her foot, so I helped her walk to the bus station. Now I remember, what a coincidence. How's your foot? <laughs> oh, it's much better now. Thank you. Just give it up already. You're embarrassing me. Yeah, fine. Let's ask him. Ichi, come on in. He recovered yesterday. I told the doctor to lie to you. Ichi? I thought he was unconscious. Show mom that picture. Okay. Ichi took out his phone and showed them the picture. What? what? As soon as they saw the picture, their faces turned blue. Yesterday. I'm gonna call the doctor. Mom's friend. Huh? Me? No, that man. Ichi, what are you saying? That man, he comes over all the time. Once I asked mom if I could play with them, but they went somewhere by themselves. Dad, where's my phone? Phone? Here. Look, I took a picture for them, see? I was gonna give it to him the next time he came over. What? what? They were naked in bed together. You could tell exactly what they were doing from the picture. That's how we found out about their affair. What? <gasps> so while I was out working, you brought him over, huh? And Ichi was home with you? You should be ashamed. And you, you're supposed to be working, aren't you? You were lying to your company? Don't worry, I told him everything already. Have fun finding a new job. I, I want a divorce. divorce! And so, Hinako-san and I worked together and put them in their place. They kept introducing us to their friends in the hopes that we would commit some unfaithful act. That way, they could sue us for damages, get a divorce, and be together. But they're the ones that are going to have to pay us for damages. I bet they didn't see that coming. And right when I thought it was all over... What?! They spent the night at the hotel?! Looks that way. They were at a hot spring resort in Yamagata. They could have made it back. They had more than enough time. I asked my husband. He spilled everything. Her son was rushed to the hospital. And she still didn't! She's gonna pay for this! I talked to a lawyer and got custody of Ichi. At first, she tried to fight it. But she had the trial to worry about. She gave up pretty fast. How is Ichi these days? He's doing great. Everything seems normal again. What about Hajime? He just had a sprained ankle. No big deal. Glad to hear that. And it looks like our kids are getting along. Today, I live with Ichi. Just the two of us. Sometimes when I'm busy with work, Hinako-san looks after him for me. I wish I was married to someone like that. 
I wonder what she thinks about me. Oh man, I'm tired. Is there anything to eat, Nanami? Yeah, hold on. My name is Nanami. I've been married to my husband, Shinji, for three years now. We don't have any children yet. We were so happy when we first got married. I mean, we fought now and then, but we would have makeup sex and reinforce our bond. But as time passed by, we became more family than couple. Or maybe, or maybe even more accurately, just roommates. Man, the Revenge of Mika episode today is hilarious! <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. Uh, about what? Do you remember how we promised each other that we would experience as much as we could while we were alive and find the ultimate happiness together? I feel like our life is just repetitive and boring these days. Nothing against Revenge on Mika. That's a great show. What's wrong with that? I think we're pretty happy, don't you? Do you remember telling me how, when we grow old, we would move overseas and enjoy a quiet life in the countryside, and how once we weren't worried about money anymore, we would go take part in volunteer activities? I thought it was so admirable, listening to you telling me your dreams. But look at you now. You just come home, eat, drink, then sleep. That's all you do. Dreams are dreams. Reality is reality. This is what a realistic life looks like. My husband avoids these kinds of deep conversations with me. Whenever I try to get serious, he always just brushes it off like this. Do you still love me? Huh? No, come on, what kind of a question is that? Do you love me? I'm serious. No, come on, Nanami! You're so uptight! Yeah, I love you! I love you so much! Maybe I am too serious, but I just want to feel loved. So, I decided to switch things up a little bit and beg like a cute little girl. I want a UV parasol! A UV parasol? You know, I have to walk such a long distance from the train station to work, and the sun is so strong these days. Can you buy me one, honey? Isn't it too late to try to protect yourself from the sun? Huh? You never even wore a hat when you were younger, right? See those spots on your face? It's all from the long years of neglect. You've become old, huh? <laughs> uh, hey! How annoying. I can buy a parasol with my own money? I just wanted to see the romantic man inside of you. Maybe this is what marriage is. Maybe my expectations are too high. And maybe all the other families are like this too. I wonder, are all men like this? If that was so, I would be able to accept my situation, but I had no one to compare him to. I never had many male friends, and it felt wrong talking to them about my problems in the first place, being married and all. So, I thought of a good idea. I created an account on a dating app. My sole purpose was to observe people. I chose a random avatar, and only filled in the bare minimum, and created an account. Looking for someone to cheat with? Is anyone free tomorrow to meet up and just have sex? What is this? Maybe Shinji is better than most men. Yeah, maybe I was just being too hard on myself. Just seeing Shinji smile, that should be enough to make me happy. Right as I was starting to recover my gentle and loving feelings... Huh? Nice to meet you. It looks like we live in the same city. Where in this city do you live? Want to meet up sometime? Huh? The mystery man just had a close-up shot of his eyes. But the scar at the edge of his eyebrow was identical to Shinji's scar. The scar that he got when he fell off of his surfboard. No, 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 no! There's no way this is him! Why would Shinji be on a dating app? Uh, huh? Wait! That mug. That's Shinji's favorite yes-no mug cup. The one that I told him was stupid and he got mad at me for. His treasure! Huh? Wait, is this background our home? Is that the full series of Attack on Titan on the bookshelf behind him? Shinji's holy bible? No, 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 no. He, he just lives in the same city, has the same scar on his eyebrow, owns the same yes no mug cup, and collects Attack on Titan. There are plenty of men like that. Oh, by the way, don't worry. I'm single. No wife or girlfriend. Huh? <laughs> 
it's definitely him. I was in despair. I couldn't believe that my husband was looking to meet other women online. Where do you hang out usually, Ayumi? I'm uh, pretty busy recently. I haven't been going out much. Oh, really? I know all the cool places in town. I gotta take you sometime. You're no, right. I never see you even leave the house on your days off. Have you ever been to Titan Bar? I go there alone all the time. They have a nice selection over there. That's the bar we go to together sometimes. I wonder if they have Makuri. Yeah, they do! Sweet! Let's go there together sometime! You in? Oh, jeez. He's seriously trying to spit game, but he's trying to act all hip. How pathetic. Are you a big drinker? What happens when you get drunk? Are you the flirty type? Well, we better take things slowly, right? Let's take our time and get to know each other. What a one-sided conversation. But seriously, let's hang out sometime. I found this really nice hotel with an ocean view. At this point, I was way past getting mad. I decided to just pretend to be Ayumi and keep getting closer to Takumi. However, I'm not that rich though. No worries, who do you think I am? I make plenty of money, I got you covered. Huh, that's weird. I manage all of his income and only give him a monthly allowance. Wow, I'm so jealous. I can't save any money. I like to save my money in cash. What? Cool, but isn't cash kind of dangerous? What if something happens? Oh, no worries. I've got it all stashed away. What? Do you have like a safe or something? No, I hide my cash in my bookshelf. Oh, good idea. Wait. No! <laughs> And you won't even buy me a parasol? More than anything, I was hurt that this husband of mine who always seemed so bored when he talked to me was enjoying this conversation with another girl so much. You look like you're having fun recently. Huh? Oh, yeah. Did something good happen? Yeah, something like that. <sighs> After thinking about how to proceed for a while, I decided I'd give him one more chance to prove his loyalty. Are you really single? This is your last chance to come clean. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm married. Oh! But I like you. What should I do? That's the stupidest question ever. Cheating is bad, though. I, I know, but I just can't see her as an object of desire anymore. On the weekend, she always walks around without a bra, and she drinks beer after taking a shower. Like a dude. <clears throat> he was right, though. He has a point. Whenever I get home earlier than him, I always take my makeup off right away. And I've denied sleeping with him because I was tired. He always laughed about it, but it was probably pretty harsh. I can't remember the last time I actually did something for him. I wish... I could have met you earlier, Ayumi. This bastard! Yeah, I can't forgive him for trying to cheat on me. No matter how true it was what he said, what's wrong is wrong. I figured that the situation would only get worse if I continued to pretend to be a Yumi, so I switched directions. What's your wife doing? She's just staring at her phone, like usual. Oh really? What's she doing on her phone? I don't know, probably shopping online or something. <laughs> Enough about her, tell me more about you. I want to see you. Yeah, good idea. Let's meet up. Sweet! When should we meet? What about now? Uh, now's not a good time. My wife is here. I'm already nearby, though. Huh? Do you know where I live? Oh, wait! Are you at Titan Bar, are you me? No, I'm much closer than that. What? Do you know where I am? Uh, come on, knock it off. I'm not good at these guessing games. Right now, I'm right next to you. Huh? Hello! Ah! So, I think we need to have a long talk. No! No! Shinji just kept apologizing. When he got on his knees, I was almost sad that I married such a pathetic guy. I even thought about losing it and destroying the house. But I realized that it wouldn't solve anything. You've done something terrible. But I'm at fault too. You were right. When I asked myself if I'd done everything I can to show you my appreciation for your hard work every day, I couldn't confidently say yes. 
I always wanted you to make me happy. But if I was to ask myself if I had tried to make you happy, I didn't. I'm sorry, Shinji. Uh, none of me. I don't want you to cheat on me. I want you to see me as a woman again. Yeah. After that, I spent more time doing my makeup and caring about how I dressed. My husband seemed to be sorry for everything also, and started taking part in the housework more than before. Uh-huh. Is this? A parasol! You wanted one, right? Where did you find this? What an unusual choice of design. What do you think? <laughs> None of me. I'm happy! Thank you! What it comes down to is that a husband and wife are different individuals also. Marriage is about integrating conflicting cultures. It's impossible to completely understand each other's feelings. That may be true, but that's not an excuse to try to work things out and move forward. Just complaining about everything makes it harder for everyone involved. Rather than pointing out and trying to fix the other person's flaws, it's about looking within and reflecting on how to compromise. Life is long, so I decided to take things slowly, like that. I'm sure that I'll be hurt and annoyed in the future, but I hope to be with him forever, regardless. You idiot, Shinji. I'm going to make you happy. Mm. My name is Satoru. I'm just an ordinary businessman. I married Miki, who was two years younger than me. Six years ago, we had a lovely daughter. I named her Akari. My wife, Miki, wasn't gorgeous by normal standards, but her held back smile and dimples were really cute. She was an amazing cook, and her housekeeping skills were flawless. Honestly, she was more than I could ever ask for. Of course, it was the first time for both of us to raise a child. So, my mother-in-law, Yoko, must have been worried about us too. She kept a close eye on us, and kept in touch frequently with me after Akari was born. Yoko was an energetic and nice woman, and we got along very well. Akari loved her too, and was a grandma's girl. Satoru, I've got some shopping to do, so I'll be right back. Want me to go? No, no, it's your day off. Relax. Mom, Akari's taking a nap. Can you watch her for me? Oh, no wonder why it's so quiet. Well, I'll see you two in a bit then. Yeah, take care. Thanks for being so helpful, Yoko. Oh, don't worry about it. It's my choice to come here and look after Akari. Satoru, how's Miki recently? Anything out of the ordinary? Out of the ordinary? Hmm. Well, not that I can think of. Yeah? Is there something on your mind? No, no, that's good to hear. But if anything comes up, don't hesitate to call, okay? I had completely even forgotten about that conversation. But one night, I woke up to the sound of our child crying. Hey, do you hear that? I was still kind of out of it when I asked Miki who was sleeping next to me, but no answer. I woke up and asked her again. Hey, I think that Akari might be crying. Miki? I went to bed with Miki, but she wasn't there. Maybe she noticed that Akari was crying and went to check on her. As I was wondering what was going on, the cries became louder until screams started echoing across the house. Akari, are you okay? I slammed open Akari's door. And I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Mommy, stop! What are you doing? No! Miki! I grabbed Miki's hand and pulled Akari away. I calmed Akari down and took a good look at Miki. Miki had a cold and emotionless look on her face as she glared at Akari. I don't want her. Miki? Ugh! This child! What a nuisance! <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I was confused, but I tried focusing on calming Akari down. I finally calmed her down and put her back in bed. After I made sure she was asleep, I started remembering what I just saw with Miki. Miki? I returned to her bedroom, but she wasn't there. I heard some noise in the kitchen, and as I walked over, I saw light seeping through the crack in the door. Miki had opened the refrigerator door and had been taking things out. 
The vegetables were scattered all over the kitchen floor. Miki? Want some? It's delicious. Hey, you're gonna get sick! Stop eating this! Alright? Hey, Satoru. What if that child, Akari, wasn't yours? What would you do, huh? What are you talking about? That child, she's not yours. So, we don't need her, right? Who needs that child, right? Right? Miki? So, let's just get rid of her and live together. Just me and you. All I need is you, Satoru. What do you say? What is going on? Who is this woman? Her voice and looks are similar to Miki. But I have no idea who this person is. Uh... Why don't we talk about this more tomorrow? For now, it's late, so... yeah. Good idea! I'm kinda sleepy. Let's go back to bed. Yeah. Miki! Huh? Are you okay? Satoru? Miki was staring up at me with a curious look on her face. I must have been staring at her with a similar look on mine. Are you out of it? Come on! Let's go to bed. Good night. Miki went back into bed and fell asleep. Almost as though nothing had ever happened. She returned to her usual self. I was wide awake though. I just sat there and stared at Miki until the sun came up. Alright, I'm on my way. I hung up on the phone with Yoko and watched Miki from a distance. She seemed... normal. Akari was watching cartoons on TV like nothing ever happened as well. It was almost as if everything that happened that night was just a bad dream. But Miki was in the kitchen cleaning up the vegetables that were scattered around in front of the refrigerator, with a puzzled look on her face. You don't remember? Remember what? No, it's nothing. After taking Akari to preschool and the kitchen was finally clean, Yoko arrived. Oh, perfect. I was just about to call you. My body, it feels so heavy. Hey, just go lie in bed. I took the day off, so I'll do the rest. Okay then, I think I'll rest for a bit. Miki disappeared into the bedroom. After Yoko watched her shut the door, she slowly came over and sat on the sofa across the table from me. Yeah, so like I explained on the phone. I'm sorry, I should have told you everything beforehand. So, there's something you haven't told me yet. Miki, ever since she was a child, there were times that she just suddenly changed and wouldn't listen to anything I said. I thought she was bipolar, but it seemed more like... She was somebody else. Her personality, and even her facial expressions were different. And there were times that she couldn't remember certain memories, like they had just disappeared. It was the exact same thing that I felt the night before. I nodded for her to continue. I thought she was ill, so I took her to counseling a few times. There, she was diagnosed with dissociative identity disorder. In Miki's case, she has a type of DID where her other personality possesses her completely. What about treatment? I didn't think too much of it at the time, and I was afraid of how she might be treated if people found out that she was going to a psychiatrist or counseling, so... You didn't treat her? And I didn't think it would be a problem when you guys said you were getting married, so I kept it to myself. But... you started noticing something? Recently, I've noticed that Viki's face is sometimes terrifying when she's looking at Akari. And I found multiple bruises and marks on Akari's body. What? I'm so sorry! After a long silence, I came to a conclusion. Yoko, the whole situation with Miki... It's so confusing. I'm not sure what to make of it yet. But more than anything, the person inside of Miki that attacks Akari... I can't forgive that as her father, even if it's her mother. I'm sorry, but will you take Miki home with you for now? I need time to think this over. I understand. Miki was brought back to her parents' house and started seeing a psychiatrist to get treated. I did love Miki, and I was hoping that we would one day be able to be a normal family again. However... Why are you so attracted to Akari? She's not even your kid! Then whose kid is she? Who gives a shit? After hearing those words, my parents got concerned and made me take Akari to get a DNA test. Akari wasn't my child. I had been loving and caring for a stranger all this time. When they found out, my parents started distancing themselves from Akari. 
I didn't have it in me to get mad at them, though. I decided to get divorced. Miki had been betraying me. I couldn't live with her anymore. The other Miki was so aggressive and crazy that I couldn't have a civil conversation with her. So, I had a lawyer get in between, and was successfully able to get a divorce. Akari was in elementary school now. My daughter that wasn't related to me by blood. But I had been caring for her since the day she was born. Those days were some of my most precious memories. I can't forgive Miki for what she did, but my marriage with her gave me a treasure named Akari. I will treasure her for the rest of my life. I know I will. Ten years later. Mom? Is that you, Akari? Yeah. Akari doesn't remember, but I remember everything perfectly. That girl you are beating was me, not Akari. Miu, what did I tell you? I'm sorry. It's because you're wearing this tracksuit. You're drenched. You should take this off. Huh? Oh, no, stop! Hello, everyone. Hey, Miu. Hey, manager, where's my drink? Oh, right away. Jeez, you're so clumsy. Mm. <laughs> Hurry up and clean that up. What? Wait, hold on! Here. Oh, sorry. Thank you. I saw that. That was the captain's fault. No, it's because I'm such a klutz. That's not true. Here. Thank- ah! This is our team assistant manager, Miu. She's kind of an airhead. She mistakes the score and drops the balls all the time. And for some reason, she always wears that long-sleeved tracksuit, even on hot summer days. She's kind of weird. Oh, she's so sweaty. Aren't you hot? Oh no, not at all. <sighs> Don't push yourself too hard, all right? Uh-huh. Oh, crap. See you later. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I hope she doesn't mind. Ken? I'm so hungry! What's for dinner? What about fried rice? Yay! I'm home! Hey, Dad. Hi, Daddy! Yum! Yummy! Oh, you're such a good wife, Ken! More, please! Me too! Alright. Oh, yeah. I'll be gone this weekend on a training camp with the baseball team. You guys will be fine, right? What? Honey, Ken is sleeping over with girls now. Shut up. <laughs> I know, son. No need to explain yourself. Anyways, I won't be here for a night, so don't starve these two, all right? My mother's not with us anymore. She was in an accident and passed away two years ago. Since then, I made the promise with my dad that we'd protect my younger brother and sister together. It's my duty to protect my family. I never could have guessed that I would find someone else that I had to protect during this training camp. Ugh, it's so hot. I don't feel like doing anything. Um, Captain? Everyone is waiting for you at the field. What? They don't need me to practice. Huh? That's what I've been told. Oh, man. Our captain must be in a bad mood. Yeah, I heard he tried to bring his girlfriend on this trip. Huh? And the coach found out and stopped him. What the hell? Eh, whatever, it's not our problem. But I feel bad for the assistant manager. See, he's taking it out on her again. Hey, don't just sit around. Make yourself useful. Do umpire something. Yes, sir. You okay? Uh-huh. Look at you, you're all red. Don't overwork yourself. Uh, I'm okay. Three balls and you're out. Wrong. Stop talking! Here we go! Huh? Miu, what did I tell you? I'm sorry. It's because you're wearing this tracksuit. You're drenched. You should take this off. Huh? Oh, no, stop! Holy crap! Um, I'll be fine. Um, oh, okay. Hey, stop overreacting! Oh, I'm oh, sorry, I'm sweaty. Let me go get changed. Hey, wait! Oh, Kenichi, I'm sorry about earlier. Um... No, don't worry about it. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Thank you. 
It's so hot. I think you should take the tracksuit off. But without this, I'll stand out. That's tough. Yeah. I'll be going back to my room now. The girls are staying in the cabin, right? Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Huh? Oh, jeez. I guess I'll bring it to her. Huh? Oh, someone laid out the futon for me. Huh? Gotcha. Whoa! Oh, hey! What? That was so scary! Don't worry, coast is clear. Thank you. What should we do? You want to tell the hotel staff about this? No, it'll be okay. But we can't just let this slide. Will you stay with me then? Alright. Isn't it tough being assistant manager, Miyu? No, I need something that makes me feel like I'm being of some use to other people. Even if I suck at it. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? Huh? I always appreciate how much you do for us, but... Our captain... He's so ungrateful. Captain... That guy shouldn't be team captain. I think someone else should take his place. The team would be way better off. Yeah. So, like I said... Don't try too hard. Huh? You don't have to do everything the captain says. You shouldn't be passing out doing umpire. Yeah. It's kind of hot in here. Where's the AC? Why don't you just take that off? I'll go now. No! Oh, I should have done this earlier. You're right. I should just take it easy. Yeah. I never really thought of it that way until you told me, Kenichi. I shouldn't try too hard. I caused everyone so much trouble because of it. Everyone else has nothing to do with it. Don't do this for everyone else. Do it for yourself. Just be yourself. And if anyone gives you problems, tell me. I'll protect you. Huh? I want to protect you, Miyu. Really? Yeah. Tell me whenever you have problems. I'll deal with it. I promise to protect you, Miyu. Thanks. Good job today, guys. Here, Kenichi. Here you go. Thanks. I've got some candies, too. Hey, me too, manager! Me too, me too! Hey, what about me? Here. Uh, we weren't asking you. Shut up! Eat your candy. Alright, let's hit some balls next. Yes, yes sir. sir! Good luck! Thanks. I found someone I'd like to protect besides my family. I wonder what Mom would have thought if she was here. I'm sure she'd be proud of me. Kind words don't cost much, yet they accomplish much. When I was in elementary school, I was your typical troublemaker. Take that! Blocked! The teacher would yell at me every day. Ichi, Hajime, stop fooling around. Pay attention. Haha, <laughs> you got yelled at. You too? The school called my mom almost every day. She had no idea what to do with me. Then, in fourth grade, I got this new teacher, Miss Nomoto. Things started to change after that. Hey everyone, my name is Ms. Nomoto. It's so nice to meet you all. She was pretty small. She looked really nice. She was good at teaching, too. I sucked at school, but she was very patient with me. Great job! Thanks, Miss Nomoto! I'm proud of you. She gave me words of encouragement every step of the way. I loved her. And I started to like school now that I wasn't being yelled at every day. But... Everyone, I'm having a baby. So I'll be taking some time off from teaching. Mr. Hideo will be filling in for me. Sup, guys? She had to take some time off, so Mr. Hideo came in as a substitute teacher. Hey, Mr. Hideo, you're handsome! Thanks, I get that a lot. <laughs> oh, Ichi, you don't think before you speak, do you? But after about a month in, things started to go south. I couldn't keep up with his curriculum. My teacher started yelling at me again. Hand it in once you're done. I have no idea how to do this. I guess I'll just ask. 
Huh? You done already? Uh, no, I, I had a question. Ugh, again? Ugh. Let the other kids finish first. Get back to your seat. At first, he tried to be patient with me, but soon he started getting annoyed. Just stop trying, you dumbass. As you know, we choose the MVP of the day every day after school, but I think we should also talk about things we can improve about ourselves. We'll call it MWP, Most Worthless Player. If we do something wrong, we should try and correct it, right? He's talking about you, Ichi. Shut up, man. He's right, Ichi. You're a troublemaker. Huh? He's a good example of how not to behave. I know. Let's all keep an eye on him and try to help him improve his behavior. And so, my classmates started watching me. Ichi keeps forgetting his homework. Hajima opened the door while I was in the bathroom. Tanaka was trying to eat an eraser because he was hungry. Ichi keeps asking me to help him with his schoolwork. It's getting annoying. At first, I listened to them and tried to better myself. And it wasn't just me. Other students got chosen as the MWP, but for some reason, whenever that happened, Mr. Hideo looked frustrated. Today, Mika. Anything about Ichi? Soon, he started targeting me and me alone. My classmates soon realized that the teacher was happy as long as I was the MWP. So, they started nominating me every day. And so, every day after school, my classmates reminded me of how I messed up that day. Ichi made fun of me today. What? He was doing a quiz during lunch and he started cheering because he got the question right. That must have upset you. Just because you're happy doesn't mean you can go around bragging to other people. Gotta think about other people's feelings too, you know. But it wasn't just me. I don't care. I'm talking to you. I got in trouble for things other kids got away with. One day I was going up the stairs. Uh, ah! You okay? Don't touch me! Huh? Get away from me! Chill. Soon, everyone started to keep their distance from me. What's going on? Oh, um, she fell and... I heard her saying, get away from me. No! Why do you have to be so mean to others, huh? You ever heard of personal space? If you were in elementary school, you can get arrested for this. Arrested? But I didn't do anything! Stop talking back to me! Fine, let's call the cops, huh? Come on! No! I was terrified of him. I, I, I couldn't say anything back to him. I couldn't tell my parents about this either. I was scared that I might get arrested. Ever since that day, I came up with all kinds of excuses to stay home. I stopped going to school. The classroom, my classmates, Mr. Hideo. I was terrified of all of them. Then I got a letter. Mrs. Nemoto. Hey, Ichi. How have you been? It's been a while. I miss having you in class. I still remember our days together. Ichi, when you're really focused on something, sometimes you forget about people around you and you get in trouble. But whenever someone was upset or feeling down, you were always the first one to notice and offer to help. Not everyone can do that. Remember when we all wrote down the strong points of our classmates at the beginning of fourth grade? You were the only one who wrote something good about everyone in class. I remember you telling me how you're not very good at anything, so you wanted to learn from others. But you were wrong. You're very good at many things. Always so keep trying to better ourselves. And you never stop trying. The way you keep trying to better yourself, you actually inspired me too, you know? After she left, I thought I was useless. But she reminded me otherwise. 
Thank you, Miss Nomoto. Thank you. I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna give this another shot. Then, a few weeks later, something happened. It was parents' day at school. It was class as usual. What goes in here? Anyone? Me! 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 Mika, give it a shot. An aquarium. Correct. Yay! Mr. Hideo, Mika is bragging and it's making me feel insecure. Well, well Hajime, she got the question right, so... But you yelled at Ichi for the same thing, right? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah you did. You did. Yeah. No, no, it, the way he did it, he, he upset his friends, so... Yeah, he overreacts all the time. Yeah, right? But all boys are like that, not just Ichi. For some reason, they all started defending me. I was confused. The teacher was panicking. <laughs> well, well, boys will be boys. <laughs> ah, Ichi's mom, what do you think about all this? Hey, wait, she's got nothing to do with this. Stop trying to change the subject. He tried to change the subject, but my classmates wouldn't let him. Seeing all this and hearing new words like MWP, the parents looked confused, so... Sorry, Ichi. I knew... I knew you stopped coming to school because of Mr. Hideo. I knew all along, but I was just scared to say anything. But I thought maybe, with other adults around... At first, I couldn't really understand him because he was crying? But apparently, he planned all of this. He asked his friends to help him so that he could show everyone's parents exactly what Mr. Hideo was doing to me. Oh yeah, and why do you get mad unless we say something bad about Ichi? What? Uh, no. What do you mean? Are you gonna lie in front of our parents? No, 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 no. The MWP, it, it, it helps us to... Uh better ourselves and Mr. Hideo I know I'm not the perfect kid I have more flaws than strong points I know that about myself better than anyone but that's exactly why I don't want to just focus on the bad things I want to be the type of person who can find and respect the good in each person I guess today's MVP is you Mr. Hideo now after the parents found out what he was up to they reported him to the Board of Education Mr. Hideo got dismissed before the year ended. Years later, I was still a troublemaker. But just like Miss Nomoto said, I'm also good at many things. Just having someone accept you for who you are, sometimes that's all you need. And I remind myself of that every day as I get up in front of the class to teach. Alright, good morning everyone.